Good morning. It is, it is the third, the third of, of January. I've been doing a lot of stuff. Well, I had like, I took a few days like off, uh, not completely off, but almost. And I've been doing a lot of stuff. So I have been, <laughs> I have been embroidering, I have been sewing, I have been painting, coloring, done resin craft, uh, played with clay, uh, po yeah, polymer clay. And I just, I've had really good fun. I haven't really done like any finished project. I've just like been dabbling a little bit all over, uh, switching things up and just doing whatever I'm feeling at the time. It's been great. <laughs> uh, so I've had a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, but, but we need to get back to some form of routine because right now, we don't really have uh, the routine sort of slipped out the window, you know, as it does at this time of year. And I think it's fine, you know, I, I really appreciate being able to not having a strict routine at some times. But, uh, yeah, we need to get back to it. Today, I did get a call from FedEx, a package is on its way, and I believe I know what it is. And I truly hope it is what I think it is. If not, it's something else and we'll see what that is. What else? Yeah, today's task, what are we going to do today? It is packaging orders. Uh, oh yeah, I also tried to get some honey from my mom's um, work friend. But apparently my dad's work friend, work colleague, colleague, that is the proper word for it, Apparently they have, uh, they have honey and they live just like two, three kilometers away. So that would be like super, super local honey. The other one is a little bit further. It's still local, but if I could get it from my dad's colleague, it would be like super local honey. That would be really fun. It would be like, you know, <laughs> okay. Anyway. Welcome to a new studio vlog. I'm going to start by checking and see what's up, <laughs> up on YouTube and then I will order the shipping labels and start packaging the orders. That's what we will do today. Yeah. Okay, so I barely actually had time to do anything. He just arrived with the packages. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, it is, it is. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Will you look at that? Oh, that's a good snap on that one. Yeah, that's good. Oh my gosh. Don't they look just amazing? So, these I will have to photograph quick so they will be up on uh, on Friday because I need to have these up by Friday. Ah! Oh my gosh. I'm going to save this one. This one is mine. Oh! Oh, oh I was so nervous. I mean, I did get an image of uh, when they had done the sample and I was like, they do look good, but it's, it's different when you have it in your hands. So, it does look good. Okay, okay. <laughs> I feel a little flushed. Okay, anyway, uh, back to work, back to work.
Okay, so I have filled one of these trays with 80 tins. Uh, so far I have found three that I am a little bit like, that I'm, I have found some stuff on, but it's not big. So on this one, I have a little spot, oops, right there. And then here, just on the surface, well, it's all on the surface, duh. <laughs> and then a little bit right on top there. So, I think that is really good. So now I just need to go through the rest of this box, and then I have another one that has just as many. So yeah. <laughs> So yes, I am <laughs> currently re-watching uh, Mandelmans board again from the start. <laughs> um, so Mandelmans board, if you don't, if you're not Swedish, the uh, they got a TV show a few years ago, and they are um, sustainable uh, farmers who, yeah, just try to live as best they can on their little farm in the south of Sweden. And I mean, first off, it's just beautifully done. Like the the TV show is beautifully done. Like editing the like the video. The play. I mean, it's just beautiful. Like I just want to be there, and I get this sort of warm and fuzzy feeling whenever I'm watching. And I just love how real they are talking about animal that is dying, eating the animals, like the philosophy about life, um, and just appreciating being it. It's so close to how I was brought up, and it feels so nice to to see somebody else talking about it in the same way. Right now I feel like there's so much about being vegan and vegetarian and we're not talking about stuff that are dying and that are, are bad. And I just really like, they are like, yeah, we have animals, we take care of them the best we can and then we eat them. Like, it's a cycle. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, the reason why I'm re-watching it is because I have made myself a little project that I'm thinking about. Um, I think in the US I've heard about, you know, people doing like the fantasy football team or sport team. I don't know, I suppose that it's football or basketball or something. And it's sort of like that, but right now in my head I am planning again, I, I do it quite often to be honest, uh, my fantasy farm <laughs> and you know I think that is one of the things why I just really love that I have the hobby or the interest that I have drawing and painting it means that I can take the visions that I have and draw it out and see like how how it could look so yesterday I painted uh, and figured out um, a sheep house I don't know how, what you call it like translated but I did like a building that was for sheep and then for the chickens so they were in the same house I planned out like where all the water was going to be um the storage solutions I painted in so that I had like a desk with a sink so you know uh during uh lambing season it would ease because I'm not I don't want a big uh a big um, population of sheep. Uh, I'm thinking like a fairly small, like four, five ewes maybe, um, and then not that many chickens either. I I would like to have like a nice, um, nice farm, but I don't want like a big, uh, big things. So yeah, I was doing that, um, and then I decided to add like a little table next to the house where you can like do like the pottery stuff. Uh, repotting flowers or whatever um, I also did so that it would be sort of like they could go in and out of it as they wanted to and yeah so that's sort of like my what I'm doing like that I have like my I don't know like my hobby or what I'm thinking about when I'm doing this kind of thing like oh yeah about that so that is what I'm sort of currently having as my hobby 
project is working like I would like to create a farm and then like the best solutions that I could possibly found. Um, uh, it's it, fun things and it's something that I have been like doing quite a lot like fantasizing about different things uh, and slowly my like fantasy farm has changed. This is something that we used to talk about like when I was back at school and uh, I all, we, were, like, we had like school projects where we were supposed to draw out uh, depending on what we were doing. So for example my friend she she wanted to have horses and to become a blacksmith so she had her like her buildings more adapted to that so that she could have horses and that she could um, have a customer come there and fix their horses with the shoes and everything uh, and I just feel like right now um, I, I really miss horses I do but uh, realistically I, I don't think I will get back into horses as it is now but I'm really missing having animals and my family like mom and dad they have always had animals and we don't have any now and I really want to have sheep. Like, I really want to have sheep. So, for me, this is sort of like my way of getting to spend time with all of that and just thinking about it and like, you know, hypothetically, if I were to win like a few million Swedish crowns, then I have all the plants ready. I can just start building, you know? <laughs> So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to continue with my little tins here, I'm going to watch Mandelman and if I get some like really good ideas about my future fantasy farm, I can just jot them down. But I thought I was going to share my little fantasy um, painting project with you. Maybe you have something similar. I mean, I know my sister, she does like her, her sewing room and my brother, he does this all the time with his uh, with his workshop when he's working and I mean of course I did that with my studio and workspace here but now like I feel like I'm here it's done so now I can it's all the all my fantasy farm so yeah <laughs> that is that is the project uh, it's not weird it's natural okay <clears throat> It is Tuesday, isn't it? So, everybody just hey, same place, same place. So, I've been to town and I picked up my shoe inserts. It feels really good. Um, it, it takes some time before you get used to it. But I feel like my posture has changed so much. Like, just the way I'm standing, it feels so much better. So, hopefully, that means they're good as they are. But... If they're not, I'll just head in there, make the changes. Well, he will make the changes. I have no idea how to do that. I need to wear shoes uh, when I'm working in here. And I don't like wearing shoes inside. I don't know how the Americans do it. Like wearing shoes inside is like, no, we, we, do, we do not wear shoes inside. Like that is, like wearing a hat inside is bad. Like you don't do that. Wearing shoes inside, no. You you do not wear shoes inside. So, but they are very very good. 
<laughs> anyway, after I did that, I picked up some really fun stuff in town. We have some paper for cleaning. We also have some gloves. Now, let me tell you, I use gloves all the time when I'm making paint, uh, partly because I don't want to stain my hands. Well, uh, to be honest, I'm not really that fussed about it. But I, I need to use these little guards and I don't want to get them dirty all the time, so I'm always using gloves. And I got these trendy um, gloves off of Amazon and you know, like, they look so good on the images. They look like they are really nice like they fit the hand and everything they are so bad and usually when I have gloves I'm like I'm just going to use them but every time I put these on it's a struggle and I get mad and I'm like I don't need to get mad all the time I'm just going to pass these off or keep them in the car or have them like for emergency when I like run out of my proper gloves and I just put up I got some regular vinyl gloves um Feeding wipes, packing tape, post-it notes, what else? Oh yeah, I found this candle. I am burning so much candle. It makes me just so like in the mood. And this is one of my favorite ones. Mm. Oh, and I just threw away the label, that was stupid. It is Black, Amber and Lily. Mm. I don't know. It's from Rusta in Sweden and they come in this shape and then like a big bowl. And I just, I love this so much. Oh. Oh, and I also got this. I ordered. It came on the mail uh, with the newspaper this morning. And you're like, Julia, this is an advent calendar. Yes, yes it is. Um, but, you know, they're on sale now and I love tea, so it's cheaper now. So, so, so smart. I know. Okay, anyway, I'm going to put all of this away. I'm going to photograph all this stuff into my bookkeeping app. That was the wrong app. This one. And then we're going to make some paint. That took way longer than I thought it would. I just have a really, I don't know, making paint right now just feels like a struggle. I don't know what, I know it, it's the same thing I've been doing all the time. It just like, it feels like I'm, I don't know, anyway. I'm trying to get a baby wipe out. So I got these new earrings from my mom for Christmas and they just arrived yesterday. And, well, I, I mean, I kind of picked them out. Well, I did pick them out. Um, <laughs> and they're from Silver Rain here in Etsy, and I love their stuff. I have quite a lot of their stuff. Uh, if you watched my making a jewelry box video, uh, I showed some of them in there. So I got these. My hand is... It's tainted from the pigment. And they're just so cute, but it fell out when I took out, um, when I removed something. See if I can put it back in. Just so cute. I don't usually have like dangly earrings. Um, I mean, to be honest, for many, many years I didn't have any jewelry because I was uh, trained as a horse groom, and when you're working with animals in general, it's very strict. Like if you're working with them, but especially if you're in school for it. So we had like, they were, you 
did not have any any form of jewelry whatsoever so and that just stayed with me for for a very long time and it's like a year two years maybe so that I actually had sort of like an interest in in jewelry and so far it's just been like very tiny earrings but this one I got some dangly ones and then I, I pretty much always have this necklace or I have one with a bee and then I have one with a flying pig and then this ring I have pretty much all the time and I only use uh, silver and uh, that is because I'm allergic <laughs> so silver works and then also I don't know I just prefer myself with silver um, I was always taught that you don't mix metals and you use gold like um, my mom she always had gold jewelry like her wedding ring and everything my grandmothers both of them always just wore gold so I don't know like my rebellion is that I use silver <laughs> I don't know I just I just like silver um, which is something that I have brought to the company like when I decided to do my um, my graphic profiling and everything it was a black and white with craft and silver so okay <laughs> anyway uh, yeah I'm going to do that and if I make some paint you will see that if I don't make some paint then I will be back and we will do something else Logical. Okay, good morning. Today it is 13 day. I don't think you call it 13 day. I think you call it like the 12th day of Christmas, but because we celebrate one day early, it's the 13th day anyway. It doesn't matter. The only thing that actually matters is that people have the day off. Though it is a Thursday. <laughs> um, so yesterday it was all computer stuff. I don't like computer stuff, but you know, part of life and business and all of that. And today, I do have a lot of computer stuff I need to do. However, I really want to make a paint. And the thing is, I have like more than more than I should, like new ideas for new paint. And I really want to do at least one of them. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to start today by making one batch of new paint uh, that usually takes a little bit longer than just making a regular paint because I need to come up with the formulation but I have made a lot of tests and I'm pretty confident I know what I want so it, because I have done a lot of prep work before so I'm thinking we, we're going to start by making a paint. I want to make um, a light green, um, how should I describe it? Like a muddy uh, Shrek, yes. 
a Shrek inspired light green. <laughs> so light green, but not like translucent and like glowy, not that. I want it to go the other way. Like, oh, you know K Case of Golden here on YouTube? She loves her dukey green, her like poop green. That is what we are after. I'm going to call this Shrek green because I love Shrek. We know we, I like Shrek. Anyway, moving on. Um, we're going to do that because you know what in the end of the day it is my business and I decide when I do things unless it is when others decide when I should do things uh, also also I am happy to report I've got a new shipment of super local honey this honey this honey right here is from our neighbor who now works with my dad. So this honey is made three kilometers or two miles, I think about two miles away from here. I've never had that local honey. Um, let's see if it tastes like home, shall we? Oh, it smells good. Mm. I don't know what I'm looking for, to be honest. Let's see. Ooh, nice consistency. Very mild. Yeah, um, to be honest. <laughs> you know, honey is honey at the end of the day. Doesn't have quite as strong strong flavor to it. Now, on the other hand, it doesn't need to because none of you should be eating the pink. I mean, I suppose you could eat it. Like, in theory, don't eat the paint, don't eat the paint. Um, but yeah, we don't have a lot of like fancy flowers here, so. Anyway, I'm so, so happy that I now have like super, super local honey. I have been looking into uh, getting bees myself, like speaking of my fantasy farm and all that. Um, and I think that would be really fun, like having my own paint made from my own honey. However, there is a slight problem that has been pointed out. And that is, um, when I was a little kid, I got stung quite badly by a lot of bees. So badly I had to go to a hospital and all of that. And um, bees is one of those things that if you get, um, the more you get of it, the worse it will get for you. Uh, and because I have already sort of used up my dose of... <laughs> yeah, so working with bees has been... Um, it, it's not something that anybody has been recommending. So that's a little bit sad. So now I'm working on getting my dad or my brother interested in honey making. They're not falling for it. Um, but our neighbor is, so that's good. Anyway, um, I need to change the battery and then we can make some paint. has to be the most flattering angle ever, especially with this light. Anyway, <laughs> um, yes, I feel like we did a lot this week. 
Um, well, not we. Sorry, you didn't do that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, but I feel like I did get a lot of stuff done this week. Um, so far, my planning... Oh, my planning with all of this stuff uh, is actually working and helping. Um, another thing is the washi tape has taken a lot longer, um, partly because I've had a hard time deciding, partly that I got the uh, files back because I needed to change several things on them. Um, well, partly it was because it, they weren't done to spec because I didn't have the spec, and then, anyway. So, the washi tape is sent in now, first week of January. Hopefully, they will be acceptable to be used um, so that they can arrive here at the beginning of spring. The thing is that when we talk about it, um, it takes a long time. It takes a long time for them to start making it and then for it to be made. Uh, and then shipped out and then coming back here. So uh, I need to think so far ahead that this should have been done weeks ago. But I'm, I'm trying to learn when I need to do things and that is hard. Just like, just saying as it is. But the washi tape is, I think, done now and I really hope it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... Um, but uh, apart from that, it has been just a lot of computer work this week with the washi tape taking a lot of computer work, bookkeeping taking a lot, um, editing is taking quite a lot too. And I find it very hard to find that kind of balance uh, where I, I want to do good vlog, good editing, but I don't want to spend time doing it. <laughs> Which is, you know, you can't get good editing if you don't actually sit down and edit. But I want to do a lot of other things. Uh, but I also want to do the vlogs. So that's sort of like a give and take. Uh, I feel like I, I would, I mean, to be fair, I would like to use a better software program. Uh, I'm using iMovie, which is like bottom tier when it comes to that. But on the other hand, it takes a long time to learn a new program and doing all of that. And I feel like... I don't want to invest my time in learning that because I have so much to do right now. Uh, but I'm hoping once I get a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say free time, but when I don't have so many deadlines at once, I might start checking out different editing software and hopefully will improve things in the vlog that way. Um, or I just need to come up with funnier jokes. Could be that too. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, but I feel like first week of the year has been very productive, a lot of good stuff has happened, uh, especially the tins. I am so, so pleased with them. I think they look so good. So for now in the shop, you can find them just with the, as the, the other ones, with just the empty pans in it. And if you want to put your, your Julia K paint in here, you just use the empty pans for something else but of course soon they will be stocked with uh, the new paints that are coming out and all the uh, previous sets will be available in this one and I'm working on having a sticker in here with you know uh, with each set you get this little um, this little uh, info thing and I want to make a similar sticker just with the color and the name I think it, uh, the other things will be just too small to read but to have that like in the to have uh, this as a sticker info sticker and then putting that on the inside of the lid here so I'm working on that um, I should not be working on that because I have other things to work on but that is something we will be working on later um, so that is, and next week uh, there will be, you know, the shop is updating on Friday. It has already been updated. But for me, <laughs> I still have all that work to do. And then it's start prepping for February. So it keeps on moving. Uh, the green color that we made uh, needs a proper name. It can't be named Shrek because I, I think that is uh, some IP copyright issues with that. Um, but I would love to have your name suggestions down below just uh, add a little green emoji so I know it's connected to 
to the name. Um, and I can show you my sort of, I don't have like a mood board, but I have sort of like what I'm thinking. It's not finished. So, but this is what I'm thinking for April. Um, so here is the different <laughs> greens that you all worked on on Instagram. Uh, and that's why this one is has a one. Uh, this one is a, is a going to be in the set too. And then this is sort of like the theme for the set. I'm not sure about this blue, however. So you see, um, I'm talking a lot about being organized and planning ahead. And here we are, April is not finished. April needs to be finished. So that being said, we need to name it. And I, I don't think I can call it Shrek. <laughs> but a name for the uh, muddy, swampy green. And as always, if I pick your name, I will send you a full pan of that paint. Or a half pan and another color if you want. Anyway. Um, so yeah, leave a comment down below what you think, what name you think fits our, uh, our swampy green. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Take care and I hope to see you soon.